minutes. Now that the uh, the yeast is well uh, dissolved, which it should be, we will add it into the uh, gelatin now. We let the gelatin sit for a while. We don't want to let it sit too long or the uh, this stuff will uh, solidify pretty quick. So right now we'll add in the yeast and stir it up for at least 30 seconds. Add it in the yeast and then we will stir it up. Mix it very well. As you can see, it's already starting to foam. It's pretty thick, so let it sit. I'm using the uh, plastic fork. Give it at least a minute to to rise while the uh, the gelatin is still warm. It'll rise up to at least about 16 ounces. Now the foam has uh, has stopped rising. We we'll just stir it around slowly a bit, release some of the air bubbles. This process is what they call uh, refining. The gelatin uh, was starting to set pretty much, is set pretty fast because I'm doing this in uh, cold temperature. Basically, the cellar. But as you can see, that the results looked. Uh, Look as they were expected, as you might say. And basically, there you have it. With the mixture of uh, glycerin, sorbitol, and the peroxide. For the gelatin base. And with the, uh, the addition of the the used with a small amount of yeast combined with the hydrogen peroxide it will give you your foamed foamed gelatin And you can use this material for foam uh, for uh, foam gelatin prosthetics. Hopefully, uh, I explained it as much as I could, as to my knowledge. So enjoy with your foam. I hope you uh, have results and enjoy your uh, makeup effects.